coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Alicia Antoine, and this is your Midday News Break. The World Pediatric Project, in collaboration with the Department of Health and Wellness, will be conducting free general orthopedic evaluations. These evaluations will be conducted for young persons up to the age of 21 who have various conditions affecting their limbs, neck, hips, hands, and feet. Clinics will be held on Thursday, February 14th at the Victoria Hospital and on Friday, February 15th at the St. Jude's Hospital from 8 a.m. Parents and guardians are asked to bring their children's recent x-rays when attending the clinic. For more information, please visit your community pediatrician, private doctor or call telephone numbers 285-8155 or 453-0714. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, has launched its new website. The new interactive website features videos and images that capture iconic sites around the island. It also provides a more user-friendly interface to make browsing seamless. You can check out the new website at www.stlucia.org. A dedication of the Mindu Philip Monument and the handover ceremony will take place at the Mindu Philip Park on Saturday the 9th of February at 3 p.m. The activity coincides with events for the observance of St. Lucia's 40th independence anniversary. Officials of the West Indies Cricket Board of Control, government and sporting officials, as well as members of the late Mindu Phillips family will be in attendance. This monument was erected in honor of Francis Mindu Phillips, who was regarded as the greatest St. Lucian sportsman of his time. He represented St. Lucia in cricket and football with distinction for over 25 years. After retiring from cricket, Mindu Philip continued to serve in the area of sports as referee, umpire, president of the Marshall Football League, groundsman and national cricket coach. In March 1979, following St. Lucia's independence in February of that year, Victoria Park, which was at the time the island's main sporting facility, was renamed Mindu Philip Park in his honor. Upon his death, he was buried at the park and a monument erected on the site. This has been your midday news break. Join us tonight at 7 where we bring you the NTN Nightly News with Nisha Charles. Thank you for watching.